everybody. Thank you for watching the relaxing version of my flower pop humming in pink. I have decided that there's a perfect area right here on this painting where I am going to actually add a hummingbird. So I think we're going to place the placement of the hummingbird. I'm going to do that first, make sure it's completely on the canvas. And then I'm just going to tape it down. Okay. And um, I use the um, Liquitex or Golden, the gel mediums. This is a matte gel, because this is kind of a matte finish and I think I'm gonna keep more of a satin matte finish on this when I'm done. And then the two paints that I'm going to accent is going to be Arteza's Pearl Marmalade. Um, it, it's going to accent the colors of the pink and the, um, I think I used in the beginning, I used the rose gold. So I think this will be a, a nice offset. And then I'm using Golden's um, Ultra Marine Violet. Okay, so... All I do is I put a little bit of the gel medium and I um, along I mix it with the pink colors that I'm going to be using and then I kind of just dab it on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start and I think I'm going to start with um, some of the marmalade a little bit and I'm just going to go through and I'm going to dab it. And I don't usually hold this because I need to keep the stencil pretty flat. So I'm just going to go through. I'm going to randomly um, dab this. And we're going to see how it turns out. Sometimes I put the gel medium on first. And sometimes I mix it kind of like I'm doing now. Um, just depends on the stencil, how big it is, um, the canvas, if it's taut. Um, this one is seems to be okay. Okay, I'm just going to go through. Then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to tip it off with some of the goldens. Just go through. I like um, like a little bit of depth. I don't like it to be perfect, um, believe it or not, when I pull this off so that it you can really see the definition um, of the hummingbird. And I just go through, make sure that it's covered, all the little dots and areas. And I see a couple. Okay, and then we gently, I see one that I missed right there. And I don't think I have enough purple. There we go. Okay, and then I gently pull this off. Beautiful, oh my goodness. I thought the colors would be good. And the great thing is you can just wash this off. They wash off very easily. Um, I ab absolutely love this. And I just go ahead and I get a skewer. And I just define some of the, the lines, which this really turned out good. There's one here. I go through and kind of um, love it. I'm going to turn this a little bit. And I'm going to make sure that my lines are defined. Um, there's a little bit here. I don't like when there's it seeped out a little bit. And sometimes if I don't get enough gel medium, it will do that. So you have to be very careful when you're doing this to ensure that you have enough of the gel. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm going to separate where I don't want the additional paint. Very easy to get it off. It's just a little time consuming, which is no problem. I'm just taking and 
defining the edge where it kind of seeped. And sometimes, believe it or not, it doesn't seep at all. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, there's a little edge here. And I'm actually just spritzing my, um, a little bit to get, get, use the water to get it off. And then I can touch it up as well with a little bit of white paint. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm loving this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put a dot of purple. Um, when I look at the stencil, I like it to be right where um, his actual eye is, right here. And we're gonna define that and make sure we can see the eye. Give him a little bit of character. And I'm going to take a little bit here. And there is a break in his beak um, on the stencil. It is not um, straight across, so this is this is accurate. Um, and you can, if you like, you can actually um, add the line to make it more distinct. I kind of like it the way it is. Beautiful. I'm actually going to pause you and bring you down for a close-up. 